In the last uh, few weeks, we got the chance to focus as we went through the Fatimiyya, giving three, four lectures about Ummul Aimma, the heart of the household of the Holy Prophet, Fatima al Zahra, alayhi salam, and the lessons that we may learn from her life and apply it to our lives. Because it's someone like Al Imam Al Mahdi alayhi salam, if he said, Fi ibn Rasulillah li uswatun hasana, there is a great example of the daughter of Prophet, and he chose his mom and grandmom as an example for his life, then it's obvious that there are so many things that we can learn from the Lady of Light. We have spent some time talking about Maqam al the prayers of Fatima Tazari. And then Maqam al-Awatif, al the passion of the lady. Today a little about Maqam al kothariya or Maqam al baraka Barakah or blessing is a Qur'anic concept. 32 times this concept is mentioned in the Qur'an, al baraka al barakat Sometimes barakah in sense of a period of time. Inna anzallahu fi laylatin mubarakah. Sometimes time is bliss. Barakah fi zaman. Laylatul qadr khayrun min al fishar. There is so much barakah and blessing in one night that makes it more important than 1,000 months. Sometimes Al Baraka fil Makan in the Awala Bayt in Wudi al Nas Laladi Bibekata Mubaraka. That place was blessed, Mecca. This is why a salat of the Masjid al Haram to Adil Miata Alf Salat. One rakat, one hundred thousand rakat. Obviously, the Prophet said. Before Ali Saud, they come there. I don't know if still that work, but still Masul Haram is Masul Haram. So a blessed place, Al Masjid Al Aqsa Al Ladi Barakna Hawla, Baraka fil Masjid Al Aqsa, Bahol Masjid Al Aqsa. Number three, Al Baraka fil Ashkhas. Sometimes individuals are blessed. وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتْ Jesus is saying that I am blessed no matter where I am. Allah blessed. Sometimes al-baraka fil ashiyah there are things that they are blessed. Like kitabun anzallahu ilayka mubarakun This book is blessed. The Holy Quran. So when we say that واحد من مواصفات فاطمة الزهراء هي المباركة She is مباركة is a lady of baraka She is blessed Her time, her place, her position And her family رحمة الله وبركاته عليكم أهل البيت أهل البيت are blessed بركات is about the Al Bayt of Abraham, but they are part of Al Bayt of Abraham too. So Fatima to Zahra is blessed, although her life is very short 18 years or maximum 28 years. There are a lot of people who live for 90 years, 95 years. When they die, they are finished. How many people you know in this community, they had a long life, 95 years, but now they are gone. Finish, Kulishay. You don't see them in anywhere anymore. 
They don't have any family or have a family that they are not part of the faith anymore. So they are finished. Like 95 years, but no barakah. Fatima is blessed also in her awlaad, in Atenaq al kawthar She is just one, but al kawthar baraka kathira. Fi awladaha wa banataha, through one girl, you see all sadat all over the world. This is baraka. Al baraka fi infadaha. There are a lot of people, they are millionaires, they are billionaires, but there are no baraka in their money. إن قارون كان من قوم موسى فبغى عليهم وأتيناه من الكنوز ما إن مفاتحه لا تنوء بالعصبة أول القوة so much money that the Quran says that even a group of strong people they had a hard time to carry the keys. of the canoes and the gains of, of Qarun. A lot of money, but فَخَسَفْنَا بِهِ وَبِدَارِهِ الْأَرْضِ فَمَا كَانَ لَهُ مِنْ فَأَةٍ يَنْصُرُونَهُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ When the earth was ordered to swallow Qarun and his palaces, nobody could help. So all this money and all these palaces gone. No barakah. Al Saud, they have lots of money, but no barakah, right? There's no barakah. Seven hundred and fifty billion dollars on the United States, and all these palaces. Every prince has more than one palace all over. They went to uh, like uh, Turkey recently. Five hundred cars were carrying the king. And I want to and so 500 cars they rented in uh, in Turkey, and they, there was the entire five-star hotel just for the king and I want to and so And they spent millions of dollars to change the windows of those rooms to bulletproof grass. They saw our king should be safe, and they crazily. They change all this glass and all these windows. How much money you spend for up these things? But no better getting this money. The scare. Just recently, I was reading an interview from this Walid bin Talal. He is saying it like openly with this uh, Kuwaiti newspaper Al Watan. He says that it's time for us to have a. a defense package with Israel to defend ourselves against Iran. Can you imagine? <coughs> the Israel is forgotten now. That's not a danger anymore. You are saying that. And he continues, he's saying that if there was another intifada in Palestine, I would use my influence, because he has billions of dollars, I would use my influence to stop Arabs from condemning Israel against Palestinians. He said, the Intifada and they do another massacre, we should not even condemn that. We have to all get together against Iran. It's just insanity. Because there is no barakah fil amwal in their property and their power. There's no barricade. You recently heard about this gentleman, uh, uh, pop singer, celebrity, this uh, Tyka Nelson, right? He died just last week, 55 years old. And they are talking about $300 million of property. $300 million. That's his properties here and there. Now he is dying, he didn't have children, and now there's a big fighting among the, the siblings that he didn't have a will, and how this money should be contributed, that the government is, you know, taking over these millions of dollars, and now there's a big confusion.
Can you imagine, I mean, you and I, we have a house or maybe a car and are struggling to pay our bills and have saved something for, for you know, a grocery store. And, and still, we have a hard time to die. We don't want to die, you know, say, so well. And this guy, $300 million and 55 years old, very popular singer, gone. What is going on? No baraka. A lot of money, but there is no baraka. So when we say, say the Fatimahi Mubarak, she is blessed in her life, although it's short. In her money, although it's little money, she doesn't have that much. When a poor person was sent to her house, he came to the masjid and Bilal said, go to Fatima to Zara, go to her house. She may help you. And she had her necklace. It was 400 dirham. She took it and gave it to this poor person. That's all. It's amazing. It's a young girl. She was asked that you could give him something else. One dirham, two dirham. That was the best thing you gave it to this poor. And she said, didn't you hear that Allah say, you don't get to the level of righteousness except you share the things that you love the most. And this necklace was the thing that I really loved it. And I thought that I have to give it to this person. Then Ammar Yasser heard about this story and he came to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, can I buy this necklace? and pay for it and return it back to Fatima to Zahra. And he did so. See Baraka, one necklace, took care of one family, dressed them, feed them, gave them transportation, everything, and is back to its owner. This is Baraka, Mubaraka. How can we, and this is why Tasbih Fatima to Zahra, you say uh, Tasbihat Fatima, is equal to 1,000 rak'at of prayer. Why? Because it's baraka. The baraka is just 34 times, Allah Akbar 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, SubhanAllah. You say this and you receive a reward of 1,000 rak'at of prayer. This takes much more time. Well, this is Tasbih Fatima. And anything related to this lady is mubarakah. This is blessed and it has baraka. How can we bring barakah in our life? Well, the answer is in the Quran. وَلَوْ أَنَّ أَهْلَ الْغُرَىٰ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقَوْا لَفَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ If we have Iman, if we have piety. قُلْ رَبَّ أَنزَلْنِي مُنْزَلًا مُبَارَكًا وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الْمُنْزَلِينَ If we let the light of the Lord to navigate our path towards the final destination of this life. This is the barakah, the connection with Creator, our faith. How we can bring barakah in our life? Barakatul umra fi husn al-amal. Do your duty in the right way, do it good. Whether you are a simple worker, an electrician, an educator, a builder, a brain, a uh, surgeon, whoever you are, a dentist, a diplomat, a farmer, a firefighter, a pilot, a police, a plumber, a judge, a janitor, whoever, whatever your job. Rahimallahum ra'ana amala, amalan fa'atqanahu. May God bless the person who do his duty and her duty right way. It's completing his job. This is the way you get better. Because when you complete it, people trust you more and people, more business is coming to you. It's not really a mystery, it's obvious. You, you get more better. And better for Sadaqat. The Quran says, And faqtum min shay'in fa huwa yukhlifu wa huwa khayru razabin. You do the infaq, better is coming. طلبت الجنة فوجدتها في السخاء 
وطلبت الجواز على الصراط فوجدته في الصدقة. I was looking and Imam Sadiq is saying that for paradise and I found the path to paradise in charity and generosity. One who passed the, the Sirat and I found the, the same signals. They bring barakah in life and barakah in the property when you do so. And we do it with good intention. كان الإمام علي بن حسين عليه السلام إذا أتاه السائل يقول مرحبا بمن يحمل زادي إلى الآخرة سبحان الله Somebody is coming from Imam Sajjad and he asks for help. And Imam helps him and says, thank you very much. Instead of the guy thanking Imam, Imam is appreciate that you came. You are helping me. You are taking my luggage and you are giving it back to Akhirah. You are doing like, you are making my job much easier. Because it's hard for me to carry this bag with me. To Akhira, you are taking it here and you are giving it back to me at the destination. So I don't have the headache of carrying this luggage. Thank you for helping me. This is the spirit of Al Bayt. This is this is Barak. There is a madrasa in Qom called Madrasa Tul Imam Al Baghir alayhi salam. And there is a grave, there is a tabr inside this Hawza, this Hawza al uh, And the, the grave is a grave of Haj Ali Baba. He's an Iranian guy, his name was Haj Ali Baba. He was buried this. The story started that this guy, he had a property. 8,000 meters of a piece of land in Qom. He went to Ayatollah Dibaji, he was an Ayatollah popular in the souk, in the market in Qom, and he said that, well, <laughs> said, now I have this piece of land, and uh, I, I just want to do mashwara with you that, what do you think, if I want to do Baqiyatul Salihat, what is the best that I can do? He said that, do a waqf endowment. Let this land be used for construction of a school for the Hawza. It's a no problem. The land is yours, this is the Sanat, and you can use it. I told the boy, he said, I don't have money. You, you still have money. You gave the land and pay for construction too. He said, so you want me to pay for the building? He said, well, you know, al ihsanu bil itmam. You, you started, you completed. He says, hey, now if I do this for, for the Hosea and I uh, promise to complete this, what is it that you can promise? He said, well, I can promise that if I'm still alive and you died, I have your grave inside this school. So you can part of it, your, your cover can be inside the Hosea. And this is beautiful because the Tullab, they are, you know, every day in the school, Qala Sadiq, Qala Al-Baqir, they pray, it's very blessing. And your Qabr, the only Qabr inside the school, everybody will remember you in their prayer. And the guy thought about it, said, no problem. And he did so. He paid the, the money for construction and the school is Madrasatul Imam Al-Baqir alayhi salam fil Hawza Chiqur. After a while, Ayatollah Dibaji and this guy, Haj Ali Baba, he, he passed away and as he was promised, they buried him inside the school. His, his qabr is there and still is there. So when Ayatollah Dibaji, he got sick and he went to coma, and everybody thought that he's dead. And the doctor said that, you know, it's ihtimal uh, qalil that he survived. But subhanAllah, he, he woke up from that coma after a while. And he shared a dream that he had in the period of that coma. 
with his children. As a very famous, now a lot of ulama and fadala, they know that in quote. He said, in my coma, in my dream, I saw Hajj Ali Baba in my dream. And I saw him in a huge garden. And I said, Hajj Ali Baba, this is really a great garden. He said, what do you see? It's just the gates of the garden. This is not the whole garden. It's just the gates. You don't see the whole thing. And at the same time, Hajj Ali Baba gave Ayatollah Dibaji an apple. This apple, take it, Sayyidina, eat it, and you will be healed. Ayatollah Dibaji said, I took this apple, and it was an amazing odor, so pleasant. I smelled this apple, and I said, I never saw such an apple as an excellent odor. Hajj Ali Baba, where did you take this apple from? It's not normal. He said, this is from the tree of those qal al qal al-sadiq, of those to knock in the madrasa. This garden, and then this apple is from a tree of that garden that was given to me because of what I did over there. And the Tulnam, they are getting educated and they are praying and they are remembering me in their prayer. And this is the reward. This is, brothers and sisters, opportunity that you and I also have. You remember we had Hajj Maryam in this house of wisdom? There was a time in our meeting we said that we want to have some chandeliers for, for the oratory. And we had a few doctors in the meeting and a few other businessmen. And we said it may cost $10,000. Everybody was silent. Hajj Maryam was working and, you know, living on social security, she said, I pay $10,000. I thought Hajj Maryam, she really wants to encourage. So she, I mean, are you less than Hajj Maryam? If I give $10,000, you are the Qatar business people, big guys. I mean, why you said, you know, say nothing? I pay $10,000. But later on, next Friday, I saw Hajj Maryam came and brought $2,000. I said, Hajj Maryam, hold on. I thought that you were just encouraging people. Are you serious? I don't really want to pay 10,000. She said, yeah, I meant it, this 2,000. And I'm going to bring this every month, every first opportunity I receive it, I'm going to do it. <coughs> then she said, but I like a small chandelier in this prayer. This chandelier, you see, this is from Hajj Maryam. So now she's in her grave. But you see the barakah, the light. You remember that hadith that man asraja fi masjidin sirajan lam tazil al malaika yastaghfiruna lahu ma dama fi dhalik al masjid dhawun min dhalik al siraj. As long as this light lasts, she would receive, continuously receiving reward for that. This is what the Quran is telling us. This is what Allah promised us. Man jabil hasana falahu ashra amthaliha. He promised us at least ten times. This is, brothers and sisters, opportunity that all of us have this in this world. Depends on our vision that we have the same vision of Hajj Ali Baba, we have the same vision of Hajj Maryam, Allah Yarhamahu, Allah Yarhamaha. You know, there are a lot of big guys in this country. You see the Catholic Church, for example. They built 625 hospitals, the Catholic Church. There was a time that the Catholics were under attack in this country. But then they worked hard. And they propagated their church and their faith not only through lectures and prayer,
But through actions and practice, they did all these hospitals, all these schools. So when they called people in the name of Jesus, said, Jesus is healing you. And they do something in action. If you look over, all over the world, more than 6,000 hospitals all over the world operating under the Catholic Church. 6,000 of them in many of the poor, poor areas. So let us look for barakah. Today we are talking about the concept of barakah. Sometimes time is blessed, place is blessed, position is blessed, personality is blessed. Fatima to Zahra is blessed. And this blessing and barakah comes to our faith and our action. And obviously charity is a great element of construction of a community. If you want to build a community with lots of stuff, lots of elements, come together, families and truth and justice and amr al-ma'roof and nahi an al munka All of these items together make a community strong and one of the elements of building a beloved community, as Martin Luther King were talking about beloved community, how you build a blessing, beautiful, beloved community, one of the elements is charity. This is why the Quran talks about infaq and sadaqat and khayrat and mabarrat all over. This is why I ask for you, brothers and sisters, and barakah, barakallahu fikum, wa barakallahu lakum, wa barakallahu alaykum, that barakah in your life, barakah in your family, barakah in your idea, barakah in your money, that if you are able, so share, share your idea, share your time, share your experiences, share your knowledge, and also share your money. When we have this fundraising is coming on this Sunday, we have a great uh, speaker, John Andrew. His Muslim name is Elias Abdul Alim Islam. For the first time, he is coming to our community, and I hope that uh, you and your family come, first of all, to listen, because we want even our fundraising to be an opportunity of education. House of Wisdom is about education. House of Wisdom is about service. House of Wisdom is about answering the call. House of Wisdom is about outreach. And alhamdulillah that we have this opportunity in this country, we have to use it, we have to use this gift. And Allah has promised us barakah. As Ahlul Bayt were Mubarak, and Fatima al Zahra was Mubarakah, let us learn this lesson from Ahlul Bayt, how to apply this barakah and this blessing in our life because our time is limited and we don't know when our meeting with the Lord is coming. So it's better to take the moments that we have in this life, this opportunity, and bless this life and hereafter. Rabbi anzilni munzalan mubarakan wa anta khayrul munzaleen. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات والتباصوا بالحق والتباصوا بالسعب. We ask also barakah for our brother Dr. Kamal Khalid who has been working from early morning today to provide a free medical screening voluntarily and freely. He is here till four o'clock and so after the salat you can take advantage. Of, of this service as well. وإلى الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.